Hello YouTube, I'm starting this series on wiring and welcome to Roblox building. This first episode will be on input, output, and gates. So as you can see here, when I click this button, it powers this lamp. That's because the output of this button goes to this lamp. Now. This seems like pretty basic stuff if you're familiar with wiring, but apparently not a lot of people know this because they aren't familiar with wiring at all. So, one of the first gates we'll be looking at is the AND gate. And how it works is it has this output. This output is only on when two of its inputs are on. So, if I wire this right there, then while the input is on, the output of this gate is not on. So let me get another button here. Wire it on. So when I press this, the output still doesn't turn to on, except for when both of these buttons are active at the same time. Then it outputs a signal so then I can attach this to this lamp and it will only light up once two of these buttons are active. The next gate we have here is the OR gate. When one of the signals is on it the output becomes true. So if I turn one of these on then it will activate this lamp right here and it's still on if we activate both and this might seem pretty useless because you're like oh why don't we just have uh, two things power the same thing but the thing is you can't like only one of these is able to connect so that's what you have to use the OR gate for and the next gate we have here is the XOR gate or as some nerds would like to call it the exclusive OR gate. So basically what it does is it has two inputs like the other ones we have and an output, but it only outputs a signal when one of its inputs is on. So you can see here, I press the single button and it outputs a signal. And same here, but if I have both of them on at the same time, then it turns back off. This gate right here is the inverter gate. So right now it's not being powered by an input at all, but still outputting something. So basically what it does is it inverts the signal that's being put in. So no signal is being put in, but that means the signal is being put out. Now if I power it, that means no signal is being outputted. So if I connect it to this lamp right here, it will be powered until I press this button, and it will be powered for as long as that button is pressed in. Now this next gate we have here is the repeater. If you messed around with redstone in Minecraft before, you might think it's like the redstone repeater and that it delays stuff, but it's not really related to that at all in its function. So. What it does is, in the configure, you can see this time on and time off, and basically it'll go on a cycle of, like, sending a pulse. So, you have this time off, which is one, and then time on, which is one. Now if we set time off to five, that means it will wait five, and then it will turn its output on for one second, then it will wait five again, and then it'll output again for one second and then it repeats that cycle as long as it's active. So you can see here, it stays off for five seconds and it turns on for one second and goes back to cycling. Now something I've noticed is that when it's not being powered, it just um, like stops doing what it did instead of just going to off. It just stays on what it was on before. And when you first place it down, 
it's stuck on an on position. So you have to like have a lever for this kind of thing if you want to keep attaching repeaters to a power source. So if we attach to this little lamp right here and we turn it on, it'll just wait five seconds and then the lamp will turn on for one second and it'll turn back off at five seconds. So this last gate we have is the delay gate. It kind of functions like the Minecraft redstone repeater if you've ever used it before. Um, basically what it does is when it's uh, powered, it'll take this input and it will wait for the amount of seconds it's set to and then it will send that like input to um, this output after waiting a certain amount of seconds. So if I click this button, I have to wait one second before this lamp will turn on. It also preserves the length of the signal that's being put in. So this is the end of the video now. Uh, thank you for watching because this was probably really boring. Um, goodbye now.